Hi everyone, I'm Miranda Mills and welcome to my latest Favourite Things video where I'll be sharing all of the things that I've been loving so far this spring. My first favourite thing is some new clothes that I've chosen for spring, including this beautiful silk dress that I'm wearing. This video is kindly sponsored by Lily Silk, who let me pick out some clothes from their new spring-summer collection. It's wonderful to have a bit of a wardrobe refresh in the springtime, and Lily Silk creates beautiful, classic clothing that I always find adds a touch of elegance to my wardrobe. Lily Silk specialise in a wide range of silk products, from pillowcases to pyjamas, blouses, dresses, bedding, and even scrunchies. So it's a great website to take a look at if you're looking for a Mother's Day gift, perhaps this May. I know a lot of my international followers might well be doing that, but it's also a wonderful website to look at if you're just interested in timeless silk products. But let me tell you about the pieces of clothing that I chose. So the first is this gorgeous silk trench dress that I'm wearing. I love the elegant equestrian inspired pattern and I feel so put together in this dress, which is really easy to wear and has a lovely flattering cut. I really like the wide belt that comes with the dress and it cinches in nicely around the waist. For a daytime look, I like to pair the dress with black ballerina flats and a light bag and straw hat. If I want a bit of a dressier look, then I'll swap the original belt for a thin black leather one and I'll pair the dress with some high heels in a neutral colour and turn my bag into a clutch. I may even pop a velvet headband on too for a bit of an evening look. I really love silk at this time of year, it's such a great material, it's very breathable which is good as the weather gets a bit warmer but to be honest it's still pretty chilly in Yorkshire and this dress helps keep me warm while still feeling lightweight and spring like. The next thing I chose is this beautiful navy blue silk blouse with the contrast piping around the collar and the cuffs. Lily Silk have so many classic silk shirts to choose from, but I especially love this one with its colour combination of navy and caramel piping. Navy is such a favourite colour of mine and I especially love to wear it in the springtime. And a navy silk shirt really is such a wardrobe staple. This blouse looks stylish with a pair of slim fitting trousers and some ballerina flats. And I also like to pair it with a bag that brings out that caramel piping. And for a more formal look, I love to tuck the blouse into this beautiful pleated skirt, which is the third and final item that I chose from Lily Silk. This skirt is a wonderful item to pack if you're traveling as it's so wrinkle resistant and the pleats fall really nicely. It's made of polyester with a silk lining, so it's a great practical piece. I love the handkerchief hem, which adds a lot to the style. And again, I went for navy, but it's also available in a pretty lilac color that would be very nice for spring as well. The skirt looks lovely with the light blue lily silk blouse that I got last year. It goes so well with the navy blue and I can either wear it tucked in or out. And then for a more casual look, I love this skirt paired with a very pretty floral top, some colourful ballet flats and a cute straw bag and hat. So those are all of the clothing pieces that I picked out from Lily Silk. I'm so happy with all of them and if anything catches your eye on their website then I'm really pleased to say that I have a discount code for you. So my discount code 12 Miranda, that's 12 Miranda with a capital M. This discount code will get you 12% off everything on the Lily Silk website. And if you end up spending more than 280 pounds or dollars, then I have a different discount code for you, which is 15 Miranda. That's 15 Miranda with a capital M, and that will get you 15% off your order. You can't use those two discount codes together. It's one per transaction, but if you are spending more than 280, it's great that you're able to get 
that bit more off with my 15% off discount code. I'll put all of the details about the discount codes and also I'll link to the pieces that I picked out in the description box down below so you can check everything out there and have a look at the Lily Silk website yourself. But now let's move on to chatting about my other recent favorite things. So as you've probably noticed, I love using baskets in the spring and summer months. And I've been looking for a really nice market basket because something I'd really like to do more of in the warmer weather is go to more food markets around Yorkshire. And I've wanted a good sized basket for that. And I found this really beautiful one by a great company. Uh, the company is called Oliella. I think that's how you say it. And this is the Mosey basket. And they do really beautifully crafted ones for both adults as well as children. They've got some really adorable products on their website. And I picked this one up as being the perfect basket to bring with me to the market. And it's really inspiring me to try to head to more markets. But I was really thrilled with that one. I think it's so stylish and and elegant looking but also obviously practical and a nice size not too big and not too small either so I was really thrilled with that and then one beauty product I've been really loving lately is this perfume by Amilla Harris called Secret Gardenia this is actually an eau de parfum and it's really gorgeous I love the scent of gardenias and I always navigate towards using really floral scents in the spring and summer especially and this is such a nice fresh floral scent so beautiful if you also like your floral scents and I really recommend trying this out I like that Miller Harris offer a range of sizes you can get quite little ones of their eau de parfums which is nice if you just want to test something for a little while to see if you really like it or if you're looking more for a travel sized option and this is just a really sweet little bottle but yes I absolutely love the scent of gardenia and it's really nice on my skin this one it's just a favorite of the moment so I wanted to share that with you and then if you know me you know that I don't really watch a lot of television but there have been two TV series that I've really enjoyed recently one of them is The Gilded Age and I remember I asked at the start of April in one of my videos whether you would recommend this TV show to me whether it was worth trying and I'm so glad that a lot of you said yes do watch it it's really good because I did and I absolutely loved it. I cannot wait for season two now. I just want to watch more. It's so good. If you love period dramas, then absolutely give this one a go. It's written by Julian Fellows. I actually like it more than Downton Abbey, I have to say though, which is probably a bit of an unpopular opinion, but I think it's so good. It's fascinating. Maybe I especially like it because it deals with uh, different history from the sort of typical period drama. It really looks at the history of New York City. It's set in New York in the late 1800s. It's so well written. It's so well acted. I'm really invested in all of the characters. I just loved it. So did my mum. And yes, I really recommend giving it a watch. It was just so much fun. So thank you to those of you who recommended it. And then the other TV series that I really enjoyed watching over the Easter holidays is called Transatlantic and that's on Netflix and again I just really recommend it. It's based on a true story, it's set during World War II and it's about um, two Americans who were in France in Marseille and how they helped to get a lot of European artists and intellectuals out of France and they helped a lot of people to escape from the Nazis. But again, it's just brilliantly filmed, really gorgeously filmed, it's so well acted, absolutely sort of stellar performance from all of the cast and I was really invested in the storyline in the characters 
I highly recommend it. Another sort of brilliant piece of drama and amazing that it's based on a true story too. So I wanted to recommend those two TV series to you if you're looking for something to watch. Um, and then you, you know how much I love stationery and I know you do too. So I wanted to share a few finds. Uh, to start, I absolutely love these gorgeous bird cards um, by the artist Diane Williams. I bought cards of hers years and years ago and I kind of forgotten about her art, but then I remembered them again a few weeks ago and I was so glad to see that she still is making really beautiful cards and I ordered a couple, thought I'd highlight these two in particular as being lovely for spring, but I really recommend having a look at all of her cards. A lot of them feature birds and they're really beautiful, so I was really thrilled to get these. And then I'm such a fan of the artist Debbie George and she creates beautiful cards but also some lovely bunting. I've kind of put this one together so it's a bit hard to show you but I'll put a picture up here because I strung this along uh, this bookcase before I changed all the books around and it looked so pretty so I'll put a picture of it there so you can see and it's just really lovely bunting. I love this jug design. She's done some mug designs as well as bunting and they're really pretty too but I just love these jug ones in particular, I think they're so lovely. And I was really thrilled to get um, this book all about her artwork. And I was lucky because I got one of the special editions. This is number 76 of 150. And it's signed by her. And it also came with a beautiful book plate. Um, inside that says for loving a book which I thought was so nice so I wanted to get the special edition that was signed and that came with this book plate so I was really glad I was able to grab that and it's just a really beautiful book full of Debbie George's artwork and there's more about her life as well so I've been really enjoying flicking through the pages of this one it's so gorgeous and then I also, as you know, love Starsmead book binding. She creates the most amazing commonplace books and notebooks, and I've told you about those many, many times. But Ursula, who is the founder of Starsmead book binding, has also started making these gorgeous pencil boxes, and I couldn't resist this stunning floral design. I just think that is beautiful. I love the roses and I want to keep my Kaweco, um fountain pens in here. I think it would be really handy for those. So I was really thrilled to get this as well. I've been loving using it already. And then one thing that's a bit tricky about living in Yorkshire is that it's harder to find some of the spices that mum and I like to use in our cooking. It was so easy in London for the most part, but up here it's a little bit harder. And I heard about this really great spice company that's run by a woman and it's called Wren's Pantry. And one of our favourite spices to use is sumac, and we love this. It's a sort of bit of a sour, fruity and woody spice. It's a Middle Eastern spice, and we love to just scatter it over salads or on top of fish. It's also really nice on top of like deviled eggs, something like that. It's just a really versatile, really useful spice for savoury cooking. And we love it. We used to get it at Honey & Co in London and we were so glad to find it somewhere online and Wren's Pantry is really worth taking a look at. She's got lovely different spices and spice blends and sumac is one that I very much recommend and it's so nice for summer cooking as well and we do a lot of grilled vegetables and salads and things like that just to scatter a, a spice like this over top really adds to the flavour. So I was really happy to get this and I wanted to tell you about it as well.
And then of course I have had some books that I wanted to share with you too. They are definitely favourite things of the past few weeks. I got the two new Persephone books that just came out in April. One Afternoon by Sean James and Two Cheers for Democracy, a selection by E.M. Forster. I have already read One Afternoon and I really enjoyed it. I'll save a proper review of this book for another video, but I did enjoy it. About halfway through, I wasn't sure which way it would go and how I'd really feel about it. Um, but I ended up actually really liking it. It's quite a different choice in many ways for Persephone, but it still has that Persephone quality to it. Um, so I found it a really interesting read. And I'm looking forward as well to dipping into this essay selection. It looks like brilliant reading. And then I also had pre-ordered the new Mandalay Press book, Letter from New York by Helen Hanf. I'm such a fan of 84 Charing Cross Road and Q's Legacy and this book as well. And I wanted to get this um, lovely new Mandalay Press edition of it, although I do already have a hardback and a paperback, so I didn't really need another one. Um, but... I thought how attractive this one was, so I was thrilled to get that. And then a few other books that I've picked up. Um, here's a short story collection that I think looks really good. Um, it's called A Different Sound, Stories by Mid-Century Women Writers, and it's selected and introduced by Lucy Scholes. And this has a really tempting collection of authors for me. Um, it's people like Daphne du Maurier, Diana Gardner, Stella Gibbons, Inez Holden, Elizabeth Jane Howard, Penelope Mortimer, Elizabeth Taylor. Um, just so many favorite writers of mine represented in this short story collection. And I think this will make brilliant reading. So I was really thrilled to get this. And then I was lucky enough to be sent this book by the publisher. This is Waves of Life. Jim Ede and the, Kettle Yard, and, and the Kettle's Yard Artist by Laura Freeman. I've interviewed Laura Freeman in the past. She's an art critic and author, and I'm really excited to get this new book of hers. This is actually coming out sometime in May. I'd love to get to Kettle's Yard in Cambridge. I've never been there. Um, that was Jim Ede's home, and he sort of opened it up and his collection up to the public so they could come and see all of the incredible art that he collected and um, this sounds really interesting it says the lives of Jim Ede and the Kettles Yard artists represent a thrilling tipping point in 20th century modernism a new guard a new way of making and seeing and a new way of living with art and um, it said that at Kettles Yard in Cambridge Jim opened his home and his collection to all comers he showed generations of visitors that learning to look could be a whole new way of life. In this captivating, lively and deeply researched biography, Laura Freeman reveals the life of a man who helped shape 20th century British art and sheds new light on the rare beauty and character of his greatest creation, Kettle's Yard. Um, so this just sounds like fascinating reading. I'm really looking forward to, to getting to this. I've been flicking through it already and dipping into it already and it looks really good. So I wanted to share that one. And then this is a new favorite cookbook of mine. I absolutely adore the title. Love is a Pink Cake by Claire Patak. Claire Patak is the founder of Violet Bakery in Hackney in London. I used to go there often when I worked as a TA in Hackney and I have very fond memories of that bakery and the cakes were always so good from there. And this looks like a wonderful new cookbook from Claire, full of great baking inspiration. So I was really thrilled to get this as well. But anyway, those are all of the favourite things that I've been enjoying over the past few weeks. I hope that you've enjoyed these recommendations. Let me know if anything appeals to you in particular. And if there's anything that you've been especially loving lately that you think I'd like to know about. But thanks so much for watching this video. 
Extra big thanks to those of you who pressed the super thanks button on my last video and all of the lovely comments on that video too. I hope you've been having a wonderful weekend and I'll see you again very soon. Goodbye.